hear ye, people of Biscuit Town. I come with predictions. I'm not a witch, so please don't burn me. Also, I can't swim or float. I'm really obtuse. <laughs> obtuse is a bloody brilliant word. I wish someone had heard that because it was funny. Archibald, do you think that was funny? N no? You got a lovely shiny helmet there, Archibald. Very fancy. I love it. So the year is 2022. I know it sounds like the bloody future. I feel really bloody old. I made a live stream recently talking about Kingdom Come Deliverance in 2022 and what we could possibly expect. I'm recording this live over on Twitch and I'm going to get my chat members to give me some other predictions because I have my own and it's all very fancy. Very fancy merch coming soon. Maybe. Probably. Possibly not. I get really distracted. Oh, is that a bird? So let's start with Kingdom Come 2, the next game. Because let's be honest, it's not going to be called Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Deliverance is a subtitle. So we're going to be expecting something like Kingdom Come Retribution. Or Kingdom Come Give Me Back My Sword, You Bastard. Something on those lines. Kingdom Come Deliverance came out on the 13th of February 2018. So we are quickly approaching four years after the game came out. And my biggest prediction right now is that in February, we will find out that Warhorse Studios are developing Kingdom Come 2. That is my prediction. Recently, they ended up announcing a comic book that takes place back when King Wenceslas IV and Sigismund were in charge. Oh, get away from the bees, they're really loud. What was I saying? <laughs> this comic book definitely opens the door for the fact that we could see Martin's story in the next game, or at least a small part of Martin's story, aka Henry's father. Hey Henry, could you go down tavern and get me some mead? Also tell Teresa she has a nice bum. <laughs> What makes me think, though, that we're going to see an announcement in February? Well, Warhorse Studios is going to be doing a live stream in February around the fourth anniversary of the game. The game is currently on sale, and there's now a massive comic book that's going to be coming in June. I personally believe they are making a push to get the game back in the mainstream before they announce the sequel. They are going to be announcing a sequel, it's just when. Now, could that be February, or could it be June when the comic book is released? Now, I do not expect the game to be out this year. No, but I do expect we will get an announcement. Now, of course, I'm the bailiff of Biscuit Town, aka I'm an idiot, and I could be very, very wrong. Hmm, guys, you may be on to something. The chat did just bring up, though, that E3 is in June. Oh my god. It's all coming together. Scratch what I said. Screw February. It's coming in June. No, it could be. All right. E3 would be the perfect place to announce Kingdom Come 2. For the people in chat saying there's going to be a Kingdom Come 2 this year. No, I really don't believe they're going to announce a game and have it out in the same year. Kingdom Come Deliverance took a long time to develop. And I do not believe it's going to be out in the same year. More development times means a better game. Just don't look at Duke Nukem Forever. That's an awful example. Don't look at that. So someone brought up uh, the whiteboards that we found in Warhorse Studios. And those said that Alpha was currently in development. Um, I don't think those are accurate anymore. That was before the dark times. Also, Hexalligan brought up um, what could this game possibly be about. Well, let me tell you. I believe... Now, spoilers for the end of the... Anyway. Uh... Henry and Hans, Hans Capon, aka Luke Dale, that guy, and Tom, Tom Bacay. I may do another interview with those two if this gets announced. I would love to. Anyway, this game will take place at the end of Kingdom Come 1. They'll be going off to Trotsky and they will have adventures. I don't know the rest of the story. I'm not that good at predictions. But I do not believe we will see the sword until part three because i believe there's going to be a third game oh huh you guys haven't even announced kcd2 yet and you've already announced kcd3 i know i'm sorry i believe that there is going to be a kingdom come three <laughs> now i could be completely wrong i'm a bit batty anyway i believe 
there is going to be a KCD3 that will wrap up the whole story. So this story is going to be Henry and Hans off on their adventures. And of course, we're going to be leaving the main area from Kingdom Come 1. Um, I do not believe we will have the same map. Um, I believe this will be a whole new map and area. We may travel back to something like Retai, possibly, but I believe that the map for the next game is going to be completely different. They could obviously reuse the same assets, or they could do what Hitman has recently done, where they combine up to three games into one game. And I think that could be really bloody fascinating. So maybe in KCD 3... I'm, I'm getting a bit out there right now. KCD3 could combine the worlds of one and two into one big Bohemia. And that would be amazing. And if they end up doing that, they stole my idea. So, just saying, I want to be in the credits. Chris just said they can't wait for Kingdom Come 16. No, me neither. That's going to be when the story gets real, you know. That's going to be when the story hits its peak. And, and Henry is now in space because in Kingdom Come 13, he ended up going up in Apollo 13 because he went forward in time. Only problem is Apollo 13 has some pretty bad issues and Tom Hanks was there for some reason. Anyway, he's in space and then he finds evil Robard, who is now a space wizard. Uh, I am a space wizard and I came from the moon. That's a line from Destiny that Peter Dinklage read, and it was awful. That wizard came from the moon. <laughs> no! <laughs> That's not the plot of Kingdom... Ca anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Three's enough. We can't keep adding on more. Kingdom Come 16, Mark of Arts Revenge. Yes, that's the title of that game. Anyway, <laughs> right. Kingdom Come 2, that's why we're here. I would love to have some side story in the next game, looking at the history of Martin. The fact they haven't done that in the new comic book, which was such an obvious step for the comic book to take, and it didn't. It's now looking at Wenceslas and Sigismund, and I honestly believe we will be seeing uh, more of Martin, hopefully, in the next game. Um, I want to see what he did in his past days. I want to see what he did when he was younger, under Sir Ranzig, because I believe he was almost kind of like a secret agent for Sir Ranzig. Go down mead, Henry, and get me mead shaken, not stirred. <laughs> yes, he is James Bond. Uh, <laughs> but no, I do believe that Martin will have at least some way some backstory revealed because he is such a perfect character. Also, could we finally get a name for Henry's mum? I'm tired of calling her Barbara, okay? That is such an obvious thing. Why doesn't she have a name? That's legitimate. She doesn't have a name. <laughs> Henry's mother's real name was Henrietta. That is amazing. <laughs> A4 says it would be good if we could recruit mercenaries. That would be amazing. You know, um, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood had a similar function to that, where you could hire different assassins and send them off to do different missions. And now that Henry has some form of power, that could be a possibility. I can't see what I'm doing because I turned the HUD off. Um, help, Henry is rich now. That's a very good point. So he could order mercenaries to do basically whatever he wants. Could he end up controlling a, let's say, band of bastards? Ah, no. It's... The DLC from the... Anyway, that could be a, a, a cool thing. You could send off um, maybe uh, different mercenaries back to the original map to maybe go and uh, deal with certain uh, human attacks or stuff like that. I would love to see another thing like From the Ashes. So, not town building as such, but maybe like a house building like building a little community would be awesome i'd love to build my own house henry could like build his own house in the middle of the woods it could be all very that lake mystery video i did where he's just in the middle of the woods on his own with his wife aka Teresa, or stephanie actually no Ste yeah stephanie uh think a few years will pass after the events of kcd1 until the build-up of the hussite wars defenestration of prague That's henry and capon will be about 40 then all guesses based on vavra's tweets and that's from Gex. That is very possible. It's not going to be the next game. That would probably be Kingdom Come 3, right? That's not going to be the next game. Because they wouldn't skip time that far. 
Like, I, I, I don't imagine they would, because you lose quite a lot of that relationship that those two had as, as best friends, making that relationship work, and you'd lose a lot if you were, like, just to skip time, because it would just feel pointless at that point, right? Imagine you could smith your own sword, like in Mountain Blade Bannerlord, and name it too. That would be really nice if we could actually have um, some customizability to our weapons and stuff like that, definitely. Also, jousting. Crossbows will be a thing. I really do believe they're going to be adding crossbows into the next game, because they were going to be adding crossbows into Kingdom Come 1, but it just never happened. So I really do believe that is definitely something that could. So Hans K. Pon, in real life, died shortly after the first Hussite battle, and those Hussite wars started in 1419. I mean, we're still looking at 1403, right? I honestly believe it's going to be a continuation, a straight continuation, because we need to find out what's going on. Trotsky isn't just a castle, apparently. It's also an area of castles in that, in that part of Bohemia. So... I, I, there's too much there just to go, oh, they went to Trotsky Castle th th now 14 years later. You know, I think that would be a waste of a lot of really cool stuff, you know? What about Isvan Toth? Well, Isvan is actually in that comic book, um, which is interesting. So that is definitely something we'll be learning more about. We'll be learning more about his character in that comic. In KCD2, we need an inn we can visit and play Farkle against other online players. I mentioned this in my uh, Kingdom Come in 2022 video. We need that. There needs to be a small co-op element to Kingdom Come. I do not think they're going to be making Kingdom Come 2 multiplayer. That is not something I believe will happen. What I do believe is that there is the possibility of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, whatever it's going to be called, being at least co-op. So we could have a, a small Farkle tournament or something like that where you go up against leaderboards maybe or AI players who are using the skills of real players. That could be really interesting. Or having the ability to have someone else play as hands when you were playing as Henry. I think that would be really interesting and they wouldn't have to go all out on making it a full multiplayer experience. Sure. It would be really cool to, let's say, ride into Ratai and see a load of people riding horses around and going about their business. But let's be honest, multiplayer games don't work like that. You will have people uh, jumping around, people randomly killing other civilians. You will have madness. People will not roleplay in Kingdom Come 2. That will not happen. I do not believe that Warhorse wants to kind of uh, besmirch the game by having that kind of stuff. It would be like GTA Online, but medieval. And I do not see that happening. Maybe in 2030, we'll have KCD and VR. Look, I would love to play KCD and VR, right? I would love to play KCD and VR. That would be amazing. Right now, I don't imagine it would work. <laughs> so yeah, 2030 would be my latest guess as well. Also, uh, we do have news on the Switch port. It is still in development. It is actually happening. Um, uh, Toby mentioned on his live stream a couple of days ago that um, they have seen it's it's running. Um, it's, it still needs work, obviously, and it's going to take a while. Uh, unfortunately, apparently, Warhorse Studios don't have Nintendo Switch dev units in their building, so they aren't able to test it themselves. But from what they've seen, it's magic what um, Saber Interact has been able to do. So, yes, um, Kingdom Come Deliverance on Switch is still happening. I'm glad because honestly, I I believed it might have died to be honest because I, I thought it was a bit too ambitious. But yeah, so that's positive news. So that is definitely happening in 2022. Moses Arose says, I hope the next game we uh, have full character creator. I would love a character creator. Unfortunately, to do that, you'd not be able to play as Henry anymore. PvP multiplayer would never work as well um, because it would just be parry, parry, parry and that would be awful. Um, I don't know. If you look at something like, For Honor, for instance, For Honor did the KCD style combat with uh, moving the analog stick in the directions you want to aim and, and defend very well. And that works incredibly well. There is definitely a way they could do it. Definitely. So I think that could be kind of cool if you could go to like a training ground and, and try and find someone online to go up against and you can have like a leaderboard system there. I think those are the only kind of multiplayer experiences we'd have in Kingdom Come 2. KCD3 could be about um, Henry's child, says Zeronix, where you get to create a character. That 
would be a perfect way to get around not being able to create a character. So let's say, uh, taking your idea, let's say Kingdom Come 3, you um, have a baby with Teresa, for instance, or Stephanie, and that baby, you can then have a like full character creation, like Fallout 3, but you're not in a vault. <laughs> but that, that would get around the whole issue. That is a fantastic point. But yeah, you guys have had some fantastic ideas. So, what do I think at the end of this? What do I believe will happen? Either in February or June, we're going to hear something about the next game. They're going to confirm they're working on a sequel or some form of prequel. If that happens, bloody fantastic. If it doesn't, don't hate me, okay? I'm one person and actually no it was my chat's idea it was all my chat's idea it was um it was kiwi who said it yeah you blame them not me kingdom come 2 will take place after the main events of the main first game and you will be traveling as henry and hans to trotsky that is what i believe will happen will we see uh some form of flashback to martin's past I believe so. I think that would be a really interesting way to diverge the gameplay and have a whole different area and to kind of mix things up a bit. And also being able to hire mercenaries and stuff and be able to use your new power to be able to um, change things and maybe set I feel laws. quite hungry. And maybe actually be able to buy food so Henry isn't hungry. Uh, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I want to hear your predictions, though. Comment down below, tell me. But until next time, leave a like. Subscribe. You need to subscribe. We're losing some... You subscribe right now. So right now, subscribe. Right. Thank you. I love you. Right. Thank you. Okay, but thanks. Bye. Bye, everyone. But bye. But and if Warhorse denies this, uh, they're, they're paid to. I don't know. Bye. Pico. Pico the penguin. Pico. Pico the penguin. Pico. Pico the penguin. Yeah. Ha, 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 ha.